What's up? I'm Grizz. Welcome to Witch from Mercury, episode 21. I'm a day late. Sorry. A lot of shit going on. It's been hard. I literally haven't even recorded Hell's Paradise yet, so I'm I'm going to be multiple days. And I'm not doing that today either, so I'm going to be multiple days behind. Hopefully we'll be good for next week and everything will be back on schedule. Apologies for that. Anyways, lots of shit went down last week. Uh, End of Hope or whatever they called it. Dude, we lost it all. Everybody basically died or shit went down. The Earth House seems to be the only one who's intact, strangely. Where we go from here, I have zero idea. Because usually you climax to a point that you can kind of end the season on and then maybe have an episode left like afterwards. But we're not at that point. We have a couple episodes left and we climaxed, it felt like. So like we, we have to build towards a climax again. So I'm assuming this episode and next episode will be be building blocks for us to get to that point so i expect it to be a lot more tame in the sense that we won't be like killing people but i expect it to be very like story and dialogue heavy probably for the things that are going to occur here so the pacing might be like off the fucking charts as it's already kind of been this this season and especially because we don't know as far as i'm aware if they plan to wrap this up in like one season here because if they do i feel like there's a too much to do in the next few episodes if that's the case if not and they do plan for another season, then this would make sense and they can kind of leave us at a certain point. So we'll have to see. I really don't understand the direction that they're going to go here, but I'm beyond excited to see what happens. <laughs> if you like it all, the like and subscribe do mean a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for discussion. Please leave any comments about this episode or series. I absolutely love just kind of reading what other people have to say, especially because I don't feel like I understand enough in the series to fully grasp it myself. Uh, and yeah, let's get going to episode 21. Oh, take it where? Take what where? Fucking aftermath of us blowing the school up, basically. Jesus Christ, dude. It's also fascinating how we sent Saletta here specifically, or like abandoned her specifically, because this was going to be like her happy place where she could like live normal and enjoy herself and, you know, not have to be depressed. And instead, we decided to just blow the shit up and now she has nothing again. <laughs> Oh. So I owe it to the others who can't. So title right at the beginning, huh? Yeah, what can we do is literally all you can say. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. Uh oh. Uh, uh, I remember the last thing he heard from you, dude. She has no clue. From the beginning. Like episode like seven is where you started going wrong. <laughs> Mm-hmm。学園も全部。Yeah。But like it wasn't Yeah, I guess he did it the wrong way, but it wasn't yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, now you're not in a position, you feel. <laughs> I can tell, but why? As somebody who hates tomatoes, I hate the scenes when we watch other people eat tomatoes and enjoy them. Mm. <laughs> That's what we saw it, I thought. Oh, we have a stash? Mm. Fuck her, nah. Yeah, just get it over with. <laughs> I don't think she would care. Are you building your reputation up? They're not gonna fucking hate you after this, are they? No. We gotta talk still. Mm -hmm. One more time, huh? 
Be careful what you say and choose your words. Accepting your faults and then trying to rebuild yourself back up. Nice. Yeah, I feel like Martin's not gonna live to see the end of the season, but that's okay. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking put a stop to her. She doesn't know anything really aside that. Ah. I mean. <laughs> Mm. Um. Well, this is bad. <laughs> we will begin now. Begins now. We're going to war. あ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、ファック。ああ、
エリクトだけが。データストームと関係を調整できたの。だからあなたは。うん、you できることすればいいんだって。ああ。いや。いや。ガンダムのところに。ファックブロ。<sighs> they said it's fucking go time, bro. No. Oh, yeah, something much, much more powerful. What the fuck is this? Oh. Okay, that's where we went. <laughs> we got some work to do. Oh no, dude. Oh no. The music. Oh. Yeah. It's not looking good, boys. Uh oh. Remember when I said that we weren't doing any fucking fighting this episode? Yeah. That was well off. Oh. That's not looking good, boys. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Dude, we still have so much time left. Like, future episodes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, bro. What do you even do? Fucking massacred. ってこれ。ちょっと <laughs> おっそ。先輩、さっきはあんたいに決まってんだろ。ああ。だからこそスレッタだけを行かせるわけに。わあ。アイロブチューチューソーファッキングバッチデュード。もう二度と仲間を一人にしたくない。俺のスティガーダー
do whatever it is that they're trying to you know, like stop this and, and attack and be able to get completely fucked over through this data storm and not have any access to literally anything uh everything just completely falling apart and getting completely demolished is is crazy the the design for the thing i believe i was confused at first but i believe it is just like a it's like it's like something basically that just houses everybody inside like it's it's and then it has the aerials just in the middle of it kind of like it's like its core and it allows it to kind of use it and protect Ariel in a way while it sends out whatever other machines or gun bits or whatever they have just out to attack basically and protect in a way and even those are beyond strong uh to the point that before they even took over the other ones of the the assembly league they, they were getting demolished so things really weren't going well which really just shows you how strong fucking quiet zero is gonna be which is absolutely insane to to see how the hell they're gonna do this remember when i said at the beginning i don't know how they're gonna stretch this out and make this like work all within one season I, i'm starting to see i think it's gonna work within one season but we did use this episode exactly how i kind of expected where we're going to build up completely to and the showcase how we're going to climax over the next few episodes, which perfectly makes sense to me. I like to being able to see Soleta's change over time and exactly, you know, her her attitude change or her understanding, at least, of her not being wanted in a way or just the, the reasons for why her mom might have acted the way that she did and exactly, you know, who, who she is and being able to fully kind of recognize that and the mistakes that she might have made by blindly following her. So I think that was really good, but it was also able uh, to be good for a lot of characters to be able to express those things, Miori specifically being one of them as well, and understanding that she fucked up and wanting to know where exactly she went wrong with trusting Prospera or going in this route, thinking Quiet Zero was a good thing for her. Uh, and realizing that everything's going to fall on her now. She's kind of the scapegoat that they're using and she's going to get fucked over completely. And the even worse part about it is she's going to ultimately win this election uh, as a result of all this shit that's kind of gone down, which is even worse as even I think Shadow gave her his condolences being like, you're about to enter fucking hell when that happens. Like this is God awful for her. So really, really, really fucked up that she's kind of stuck within those situations. Uh, talk to Shattuck again and be able to understand kind of his goals and intentions of what he was doing and while i think he had proper intentions for the things he was doing and the way he went about it probably wasn't the right way i mean who's to say it didn't end up being the correct way but at the beginning who was to say that that wouldn't necessarily be the smartest path but eventually along the way he, he took a wrong turn and things didn't go as planned being able to see some development through a conversation and stuff regarding martin and nico was also cool being able to have them kind of express themselves and everything was was dope i like that i i think we we raised a lot of flags this episode of people who might die and things that might happen while we were able to see Pet and everybody else that was involved like she didn't end up dying which was really good but she seems like she's about to die and a lot of the others are kind of just incapable of doing anything uh i think martin is is a goner i, I said that throughout it but i think he's a fucking goner i'd argue nika is going to be a goner at some point too specifically for her bringing up the idea that she's going to quit and she'll come back stronger at some point like setting up a point that she won't be able to come back you know she had goals and things that she looked forward to won't be able to i get a little nervous with some of the stuff what choo choo does but choo choo always has acted like this and nothing's really changed so it kind of doesn't really lead me to give any flags for her but who knows i guess you can never be too safe also being able to see Chaddock's dad talk to miori specifically about like her not taking on everything and them kind of just taking on the blame and uh shit like that uh it was really really interesting and a test to see him as a character and kind of who he is while her also being able to put herself to the test by stating that she doesn't want that she doesn't want to cause issues or harm for others and sacrifice things like that just for her own gain and benefit uh really really dope to see that it's one of those things she's really really means the right thing like she's truly i think a good-hearted person but it keeps taking the wrong turns and getting manipulated in ways that she is not seeing from a distance but she's trying to call other people out like when she was trying to call prosper out for her shit on Saleta before and kind of just trying to correct Saleta the way she was. She she kind of needed somebody else to keep her in check and instead she kind of went rogue and went on her own, which was absolute trash. We also learned Saleta's going to go out of her way though, after being able to discuss that she isn't one with everything uh, with Eri, but later on finding out that it seems like Eri was the one protecting her this entire time from the data storms and shit that was going on. So she wants to have a conversation with her and one last conversation with Prospera before shit really needs to go down. So how she's going to be able to obtain that, I don't believe that's going to happen i think it's going to be in the middle of battle they're going to have to uh we talk about the idea that we're going to be able to give her a gundam though that we do have one uh i believe it was left over from the incident like years ago that they were able to uh, store away and she's going to be able to use that so it's not the same one that i thought 
uh, that we introduced a few episodes ago, which is actually going to be used by, uh, I don't remember his name, Shattuck's brother, not Shattuck, uh, Guel's brother though. Before that though, uh, Soleta specifically being able to pilot this, I'm very excited just to see kind of how that works and exactly the, the shit that goes down with that. I'm excited we're building towards a conversation uh, between all of them and seeing her development overall, kind of how that's kind of gone. So a lot of good stuff building up here, uh, ending it off specifically with Gwell's brother being completely fucked up out of his mind after figuring out the shit that happened with his dad last week and with his brother, and then now realizing that Petra might fucking die and that everybody's getting attacked and all this shit's going downhill, and then starting to realize that Miori might be the one who's been in charge or pulling the strings on all of this shit before, even though like a lot of it wasn't on her some of it you can put the blame on her actually I, i'm pretty sure everything that he's kind of pissed about has nothing to do with her uh and as a result like it literally has to do with like shattuck uh his brother uh noria like all of them right like so i don't think it really has anything to do with her but he's he's believing or buying into the fact that she's the one who caused this so he seems to be taking the the gundam that we saw a few episodes ago that was introduced uh and it seems like he's gonna take that one and he's gonna fucking go rogue and he's kind of just snapping so I, i'm very excited to see kind of how he progresses as well but yeah very excited i mean i'm sure i missed a ton and i'll see that throughout the rewatch but please leave any comments about what you thought overall about the episode or just anything else that you think will be helpful for me to know or that I probably missed. Very excited to see how this goes, though. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it all, hit the like and subscribe. It do mean a lot to me. Feel free to check out the other videos on the channel. I will be back for episode 22 next week, though. You guys have a good one. See ya.